She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's work. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Well, hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I'm so excited. I'm back. I know it's been since Christmas. I did all those videos, and then I took a nap, and then I realized it was February. Well, I am back, and I'm doing some recipes, and I posted a picture the other day. I had some avocado toast, and people were, they were freaked out that I had that. And you know, I do have unusual food every now and then. Not that that is unusual, but that's kind of healthy. Well, today's recipe is actually a chowder, and it's perfect for one of these last cold nights that here of winter before spring starts and it's a vegetable chowder and it's a creamy vegetable chowder and I'm going to show you how to make it up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my creamy vegetable chowder is real simple and I've got a uh, stove top bowl here and what we're going to do is take two cups of chicken stock and just pour that right on in here and I've got that out of the carton and I've chopped up two cups of potatoes and that goes right on in there and I use some baby carrots and um, I just chopped those up. We're going to use about a cup of those chopped up, just like that. And we're going to bring this up to a boil here, but we're also going to add about a half cup of onions to that mixture as well. And I froze this. My onions were about to go bad, and I was like, I'm going to save these. And I just chopped them up and put them in the freezer, and they work real well for recipes like this. So let me bring this up to a boil, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that we've got that up to a boil, we're going to add just a few seasonings to our liking. I add a little bit of garlic powder and salt to your taste or your malady. If you have a problem with salt, don't add too much to that. And then I add some the cracked black pepper right on in there. And what kind of spices would you all use? Leave a comment down at the bottom. And we are going to turn the heat down and simmer this until the vegetables are tender about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, this has been up on the stove top for about 10 minutes. And now we're going to add one can of sweet corn cream style right on in there. 3 4 cup of shredded cheddar cheese right on in there and this is a can of evaporated milk this is not the sweetened milk that you put in the dessert so don't put that in there and you can add some mushrooms or maybe some other vegetables I'm just putting some in to make it look fancy you can put up to about a half cup what would you add leave a comment down at the bottom but we're just gonna mix this around and we're going to simmer this for about four to six more minutes until it's heated throughout and ready to serve. So I'll check back with you in just a moment.
And there you have it, my creamy vegetable chowder. And look at that. It looks so nice with the potatoes and the carrots and the corn. And I cheated. I put a little bit of bacon up on top of it. But you can change this up to your taste. You can add extra vegetables or spices. What will you add to it? Leave a comment down at the bottom. And I added some bacon because that makes everything better. And I just can't wait to try this. Let me get a little bit of everything. Mmm, that is really home style and creamy and the corn and the carrots and the potatoes just go so well together with the onions and definitely you can change out the spices and make it different um, flavors. I, the garlic is really good in here with the pepper and just a really good kind of chowder soup that you can fix in a jiffy for your family. I hope you get a chance to make my creamy vegetable chowder. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to visit my website at JoleneSTrailerPark.com and hit that big old subscribe button and the notification bell. They hide that. They don't want you to know when a video's out. I don't know, but I've got some more videos right around the corner working on some recipes. And you can find my merch on Amazon. Just search for Jolene Sugar Baker. I'll be back soon with some more uh, Trailer Park cooking shows. I'm so excited. Leave a comment down at the bottom so I know that you stopped by. I love you. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for